Let's just see how everything goes. Look at all these chefs. Where's my boy? There we go. I am always the walrus. Okay, we know the story. Uh, but I want to see is... Okay. So you can't throw in the in this. They didn't change the mechanics. It will be fun to play this, though, with friends. But, why not? Yeah. Now this is uh just a 
remake of the first two. And I wasn't sure if they'd put together, like, some of the mechanics from the, uh... Into this, into this remake, but they didn't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I wasn't sure if maybe they'd allow you to, like, throw ingredients now in Overcooked 1, but nope. It really is just a... a port of the original, and I hope it just has online as, like, an added feature then. Yeah, but just dropping them is not the same. Like, Overcooked 2 had the throw mechanic, which is, with, which is like such a huge benefit.
I don't think I'm gonna finish the order. I might fail an order. Nope, we didn't fail an order, but we didn't finish an order. Why does it keep asking me to rejoin every time I unlock an achievement? Like, what the hell's wrong with this? Let's see if Overcooked 2 has got anything different to it. I mean, I always found that Overcooked 1 was harder than 2. But I thought part of it, a big piece of it, was like the fact that you could throw ingredients. In 2, which kind of made it easier. <clears throat> Let us begin. Again! Why is it that every time I unlock an achievement, like, the game's like, rejoin? Uh, 
every achievement. Dearest te Team 17, I regret to inform you that for some reason, I know why that happened, I replugged in my controller, but I regret to inform you that your game seems to kick people out all the time. Whenever they unlock achievements. It's a regrettable decision. I like your game. Oh good, the clock doesn't start on this level. We're gonna cheat. And it's not really cheating. We're just gonna build up a ton of uh, ingredients. Oh my god. Game.
I played it as an aquatic creature on a sushi level. That's... yeah, I can see why that's a little weird. A little fishy. <laughs> Sean, that was the name of the achievement. Come on. Not my fault that they had a bad... They went with that. trimmings. Oh. I don't know that one. Nope. I know the Lost Morse. So no, I don't know that one either. Sun's out, buns out. Spring Festival, Winter Wonderland. Carnival of Chaos, Night of the Angry Horde. Campfire Cook-Off. Chinese New Year. Kevin's Christmas Cracker. Surf and Turf. So these are all the extra little ones. Wow. And it looks like... Do you start off with all the chefs? No, there's two unknowns there. It looks like a Smash Bros. roster. <laughs> Select your chef. Choose your fighter. I mean, we already got eight achievements for 145G <laughs> without even trying. I could use the emotes. Extinguish a burning kitchen. Let's let a... a kitchen burn. Ooh, and I'll do an eye drop. Because it is about that time. I think we can start a fire in this kitchen. Let's see how much on fire we can make it. I don't think the sink can be set on fire, so we'll let that go. We're gonna, we're gonna be a little fire bug.
This is fine. Have ten tiles on fire at a time. If you can't stand the heat, extinguish a burning kitchen. Still, every time I unlock an achievement on this game. Yes, I know how to swap chefs. This time we won't let it catch on fire. We'll rescue the pot before it burns. Because I think that was also an achievement. This list is nowhere near as hard as the old, the old ones were. I have lunch for tomorrow. Because <laughs> that's more than I need for dinner. Honestly, this game is always more fun with friends. I just wanted to see, you know, what it's got. But, like, both Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2 had, like, three star every level. There's nothing like those. Like, there's some level specific achievements which are interesting. Throw five tomatoes at another player. Can I just do that to myself? Or do I have to do it with other people? Do I count as another player if I'm playing with my... You know what, I'm not even gonna finish the sentence. that works. Unless it has to hit them like 
that. Oh, you had to actually hit them. Couldn't hit them in the front. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure I'll play this game again, though. Like, with friends, because that's always better. But, you know. I guess I do count as another player. Even as I'm doing something I don't want to say I'm doing. Let's take a look at the rest of the achievements. Oh, run over the unbred. I can do that. I didn't realize I did that. Secret achievement? I don't know what that one is. Hero of time. Huh. Complete overcooked. Discover all locations or levels in the main games. Complete overcooked too. Put 99 items in the bin. I could do that quickly. Complete the Peckoning Rises campaign. I don't know that one. Throw 100 ingredients into a cooking pot. Win a kitchen. Complete an extra tramming world. Use every emote. Complete a kitchen in the Munch Mansion. Complete a kitchen in Cosmic Canteen. Complete a kitchen on a balloon. In the mines. Teleport as the raccoon. Respawn a bunch. Finish games and verses. Use the flamethrower to cook items. Finish 15 kitchens in arcade. Play a level with four chefs wearing glasses. Save an ingredient from burning at the last possible second. Play a level with a campfire with four bear chefs. Get three stars in a level where each player is a box chef. Play a level with four reptiles. Play Overcooked 4-2 with a werewolf, a ghost, and a vampire. Throw and catch an ingredient between four alien chefs 15 times without dropping it. Play Overcooked 2-2 with four players all using the rat chef. Play a level with four players of which three are the same chef. That's sus and push someone off a level. Oh, I do that all the time. Seriously, I throw I bump friends off of levels all the time. I am like a a bull in the kitchen pretty much. out a lot of fish today. It's all gone bad. There was a recall on the fish, exactly.
Hello, get those items in that trash. That's the thing though, like, playing normally, like, for as much as I've played this game with friends, I don't think we've ever had many items that we've had to throw out. Like, it just doesn't happen that frequently. Yay, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I think that's a great emote to use. What did we do? We failed very miserably. I mean, that's a third of the achievements already. There's just not a ton. Like, you have to beat the two games and beat, like, the extras, but it's just not as involved as the old one was. Which is fine, like, I'll, I'm glad to play more Overcooked. But I think we're gonna wind down here, cause really we're uh, we're done pretty much. Um, I think I put the timer a little bit ahead of myself, so there's not really like I think I set the timer a little bit extra back just to be a little safe. But I mean, we're pretty much done with. Extra life. Um, we made it. Well, I say made it, but really, like, two 12-hour streams is just so much easier than one 24-hour stream. Um, you just don't have the exhaustion uh, associated with it. Um, like... I do want to do this again where I do the 24 hours. As I said, you know, this was a health thing for me. Um, I didn't want to push it when I'm doing so many new things health wise. Exactly. Well, old cash, I mean, you were there last year. You pretty much hung in there with me for the whole 24 hours. Um, and I mean, that's the thing. Like I'm not tired today because of it. Like, we got to the 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. because it was over daylight savings and the clock's changing. So, like, I went 8 a.m. to 7 a.m., <laughs> which was tw still 24 hours. It just, you know, the clocks fell back an hour. Um, and I was falling asleep trying to finish the stream. So, like, 24 hours is just a different game. Um but, you know, that's how it goes. It's one of those things I didn't I don't want to not do 24 hours. I, I want to do 24 hours. Um, just, you know, you have to kind of go with what life has in store for you. Yeah, damn it. It's such a different thing. Like, I remember pulling all-nighters back in, like, undergrad or even, like, high school, like, you know, you pull an old nighter because you need to. Hey, I got work to do. <laughs> Even grad school, like, sometimes you just have those nights. But, like, I don't do it as much anymore. I take better care of myself. 
And, you know... Yeah, that would make that more difficult. That's the thing, like, um... Zeus, who came around yesterday some, and I think she stopped by today, um... She's got, like, an infant. And, like... She broke her stream up into a couple of days because of it. Um... And a lot of other people break it up into multiple days as well. And that's just what works best. I still have the possibility to do multiple day or one day. I just, you know, wasn't physically feeling like it was a good idea. Um, to anybody who didn't know what's been going on, uh, this year I got diagnosed with diabetes. And that was within the last three months. Um, so for me, it's been, you know, trying to get all that managed, trying to get my blood sugar under control. And, you know, dealing with the side effects of having that diagnosis and not realizing that I was for so long. Um, so, you know, it's been a, an adventure for three months, to say the least, in this already great dumpster fire of a year of 2020. Um, so, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, but the plan is definitely, you know, I want to... I want to keep streaming. I want to keep doing this. I enjoy this. Like, this is something I feel I can raise charity. Like, I, you know, you have friends who do charity stuff, and this is something I feel like I can do, you know, that I'm good at, that me doing it makes a difference in some regard. So I like that. And that's why I want to, that's why I like doing Extra Life. Um, you know, we'll see what next year brings. Who knows? Um, but this year, I can't be happier, really. Um, last year, we raised $850. This year, we are up to 1235 So, you know, over a 50% increase over last year. Um, you know, I wanted to pass Joe, but, you know, hey, it's not a competition, right? I can't be annoyed with, you know, going $1,200 this year. <laughs> um I do appreciate everybody who came by the last two days, everybody who watched, everybody who donated. Um, if you didn't donate, it's fine. You know, I understand it's not exactly the most uh, easy time with um, between the quarantine and everything else going on in life. So no worries there if you couldn't. Um, it's just fun having people around and, you know, chatting and having a good time. Um. If you did donate, keep a lookout. I will try to announce and message everybody who wins the giveaways. Um, I got to do all the entries and put it all together. Um, so, you know, I've got to tally up how many entries everybody gets. <laughs> um, so I'll try to do that during the week. Um, I guess if anybody does donate in the next day or so, you can still get an entry into the giveaways. Um, once again, those prizes that I will be sending out or talking to people about, I was doing a hundred dollar, uh, Xbox game, uh, gift card, a $50 and a $25. If you don't want for Xbox, we can easily switch that up for the switch or the PlayStation or steam or some other platform. Um, and then I also have Xbox one codes for Shantae Risky's revenge, Jackbox party pack seven, tie the Tasmanian tiger. Uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer. Those four codes came courtesy of Tiger Lady. Um, she works with uh, mainly with the ID at Xbox program and is just a great person in the community. Um, so definitely, you know, shout out to her. Um, I had a code sitting around of the Sojourn. It's U.S. only, so I'll make sure that somebody in the U.S. gets it. Uh, my buddy Carnage, who's also another like big member of the community. Um, he gave me a code for Party Hard 2, which is a really dark, grim, funny game. And also, Olkesh provided a code for Lord of the Click, which is a, a clicker game. Obviously. So, but thank you, everybody. Thanks for those of you who are here at the end. Um, you know, I'm glad that... <laughs> I'm glad Roundabout turned out so much fun for everybody, and I'm glad we got to, you know, do set some milestones in other stuff. That uh, Link to the Past run today was great. Uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts we had a lot of fun with. We'll see how much more of it I do. I Part of me still wants to get a YOLO run done. I really want it. 
now, and I'm like feeling like I'm getting close. But we'll see if I how much I stream of it anymore. Um, you know, I, I started doing it, and then you know it became a contest for me. So we'll try to figure it out. Um, this week, I don't know what my stream schedule is going to be. Um, obviously, you know, Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, you've got Reese and Joe. Thursday, you've got Reese, Joe, and Scruff all streaming. And Friday, Scruff is also streaming. Friday, I also have a race for Link to the Past Randomizer, um, Pilot Keys Week. Jaws and I are taking on Plumeria Night and Raids. So if you want to see a, a league race, um, it'll be a pretty casual set up for that one because technically um, Jaws can watch my opponent there's not going to be a stream delay so when it says nine o'clock expect a nine o'clock start that night um, if you're able to make it if not I'll be around during the week we'll be back to some sense of normalcy um, I've got some promos to, to stream um, where is my promo list we've fallen behind we've got Neon Abyss Tin and Kuna, Foregone, Dust Off Z, and then um, one of the people associated with Bite the Bullet had said, Does, are there any hardcore achievement hunters out there who don't mind trying for this really hard achievement in Bite the Bullet? And I said I'd take a shot at it. Um, there's a, an achievement in Bite the Bullet to try to beat the world record speed run for the game. I don't know how they think this is possible, because I've seen, I've seen bits and pieces of the world record, it's bonkers. So we'll see what happens. But until then, have a great evening. Have a great week. And I hope to see you here again. Thank you once again. It means so much to have raised. Really, you know, I think we entered yesterday with about 300 or so dollars. And to have gone from there to almost $1,300 is just amazing. You people blow me away every time. So until then, goodbye.